Hi guys, and today I'm doing another one of my How I Content highlight videos. And this time it's going to be with this new product that I recently bought, which is Barry M Hide and Cheek Bronzer, Blush and Highlighter Palette. If you haven't seen any of these videos, it's basically where I contour my face, I show you how I contour and highlight, and also I will review a new product, give you my first impressions and things like that. So my contouring routine doesn't really change much throughout the videos because I love my contouring routine so much, it works really well for me, but it can still be quite beneficial to those of you who haven't seen any of my previous videos. And if you have seen them, then it's still going to be a first impression of this product. I don't remember how much this palette retails for, but I'm going to leave the price of it somewhere up here. But this is how it looks. I really like the packaging. It's like a cupboard packaging that's magnetic. And the color scheme is pastel, very spring-like. And when you open this up, this is how it looks. So it comes with one big bronzer, two blushes and two highlighters. So we have a nice variety. The only thing that I'm kind of skeptical about with this contour kit right now are the blushes. First of all, they're really bright. I might be able to wear the orange one if it's not too, too pigmented. I don't know if I'll be able to wear this pink one on day-to-day -day basis. It just looks really bright. And second of all, they also look really glittery, especially the pink one looks really glittery. The highlighters on the other side, well, this one looks matte, the nude one looks completely matte, and the white one looks a bit shimmery, but nowhere near as shimmery as the blushes. And the bronzer looks completely matte, so I'm hoping I will be able to contour with this. So yeah, let's just open up this. Let's start with the bronzer. I'm going to swatch it on my finger. It looks quite orange. So perhaps not the right shade to contour with for everyone. I will see how it looks on my face because it's really difficult to judge by the swatch, but by swatching it, it looks really quite orange. And I know a lot of people prefer more ashy tones, gray tones, bronzers. Okay, let's swatch this pink blush on this finger and orange one on this finger. So that's how they look. The pink one looks so glittery, it has like these specks of gold glitter. So I think for a party it might be a nice blush, but never a blush that I would wear on a daily basis. It actually looks really pretty, but definitely for more of like special occasions, fancy dress, going out. The orange one looks a bit like Nars Orgasm, just more orange, not pink, so it has that gold shimmer to it. Not as much glitter, just shimmer. And yeah, let's swatch them on my hand. The pink one doesn't actually swatch as intensely as I thought. So it's perhaps not going to be like really crazy, really crazy pigmented. Perhaps I can actually wear it. I mean, it has a lot of glitter, but let's swatch these highlighters. So the nude one, the white one. Oh, I really quite like this white one. It looks quite intense. The nude one, however, looks a little bit more like a face powder to me than a highlighter. And that's the swatch on my hand. Yeah, you basically can't really see the nude highlighter at all. Just looks like a little bit of a lighter face powder, but not even that much lighter because it's a nude highlight. Perhaps it would work better for deeper skin tones, but for me, I don't really like the shade at least how it swatches. But the white highlight on the other side, I'm really quite excited about because it looks nice and glowy. So let's start with the contouring. For that, I'm firstly going to use my Inglot 3P brush, which is an angled brush. As usual, I say in this video, just use any angled brush that you have and you know it's quite a nice quality one. And I'm going to dip this brush into the bronzer a bit and then tap the excess because we don't want any fallout and apply it lightly underneath my cheekbones so I do kind of this shape so I can see my cheekbones a bit better if I do that and then contour underneath the cheekbones
okay don't worry if this is not completely blended we're going to blend it in a second but firstly using the same brush i'm going to lightly contour my nose just for the reference so what i do i take this side of my angled brush so the pointy side and i dip it slightly to the bronzer and then we'll lightly dust it on my nose on either sides of my nose so like so And I don't use as much product as I do with my face contouring just because I don't want it to be too obvious. I just want to create a little bit more dimension to my nose, but I don't want it to look like it's two completely different shades because I think that will make it quite obvious. Okay, and now I'm going to change to a different brush that will blend out this product better. And for this, I'm going to use a fluffy brush, this one and I'm going to blend everything out to make sure it looks nice and kind of blended and even and there are no harsh lines. One thing I can say I don't really like how this product is blending. I think it's a bit hard to blend and it's definitely more of a warm undertone. So if you don't like warm sculpting shades, if you prefer cool sculpting shades, this bronzer may not be for you or you may just use this as a bronzer, as a touch up underneath your more gray tone sculpting shade. I don't mind the color of it. However, it's not really blending all that nicely. It looks quite patchy. I'm going to actually change to a different brush, even though I quite like that one. I'm going to change to a different Eagle Tools fluffy brush, apply more product and try to blend it all together. So this is the one that I'm going to use, this Eagle Tools round powder brush. And I'm going to use ever so slightly more product because I feel like it's going to perhaps be easier to blend everything out if I use just a tiny bit more product. Okay, so now that's blended, I think it looks okay, although it's definitely more work than I originally anticipated. I had to blend it out quite a lot in order to make it look nice and blended and even. And even though it's not too bad looking, it still looks a bit patchy. Now I have to play around with it a bit more to be able to say whether I am or I'm not going to use it in the future. I know right now it's not looking the best. It is more on the warm side, but if you blend it into your skin, it becomes more of a neutral shade. But it's definitely not the one for people who like cool sculpting shades. This won't really give you that gray, real shadow underneath your cheekbones. So it's not my favorite, but let's move on to the blushes. I don't know which one I'm going to use, you guys, because after I finish filming this video, I actually need to go to my friends to look at different houses and things for next year. So I don't want to look weird. I may just use the orange one and try to use a very light hand. But the pink one is actually quite promising. I just don't think it's the one for everyday wear. Perhaps when I will be doing like a going out look, I may use the pink one in the future. We'll see. But I'm going to try to use this orange one. I'm going to use my Igotos blush brush. I'm going to really tap the excess product because it looks so pigmented and then really lightly I'm going to try to apply this on my face. I'm actually quite scared because I know this one's pretty pigmented. And yeah, I'm going to smile so I can see the round parts of my like cheeks and then apply the blush on there. Okay, so it doesn't look too too bad, like in terms of the uh, pigmentation, it doesn't look too pigmented, but I used like the tiniest amount, so that's probably why. You know, some shimmery blushes or shimmery highlighters, they really accentuate dry skin and pores and things on your face. I mean, this one definitely do kind of accentuate pores, 
but it's nothing like all that major. I've seen blushes that accentuated pores a lot more on my face than this one. And you can see a nice sheen to it, not really much glitter, just a sheen. Definitely makes you look nice and glowy. I'm more impressed with this blush, surprisingly, than I am with the bronzer. It's definitely the color that I like and I think I'm going to use in the future. Okay, now it's time for highlighting. I'm so excited for this part and I hope it doesn't disappoint me. So I'm going to use the white highlighter on the top of my cheekbones and then I'm going to try this nude one on my nose and if it doesn't work all that nicely I'm going to put the white one on my nose as well but let's firstly start with the white one and I'm using my Morphe MB23 brush which is actually my favorite highlighting brush together with the Inglot one but this one is more precise let's see if we can achieve some nice glow with this highlighter I actually really like this. It's actually really pretty, really glowy. You can see it very nice in person. It's not too glittery and it's beautiful. Really is nice on my skin tone. Really pretty for fair skin tones, definitely. I'm going to apply some to the other side of my face. I am genuinely impressed with this highlight. I love it. Perhaps not as intense as like the Becca highlighters or the Carly Bible highlighters that I'm holding right now because I'm using this mirror, but you can definitely build it up. It's definitely intense and visible and really, really pretty and yeah, and doesn't emphasize any texture on my skin whatsoever, which I'm so surprised about because sometimes the highlighters of this formula can really emphasize pores or texture of my skin, but this one doesn't do that. Like it's, it looks even a lot smoother than the blush that I applied early on. So yeah, I'm loving this highlighter. I'm going to try to use this nude one on my nose, but I don't think I'm going to like this one as much, but I will see. Yeah, no, I can't really see that. It's just too close to my skin tone and not like highlighty enough for me personally. Better perhaps for deeper skin tones, but for me, I don't think I'm ever going to use this shade. I may use it just to like, set concealer on my eyelids or to perhaps highlight my brow bone, but I don't think I'm really ever going to use it as a highlighter. So I'm going to apply some of this, some of this white one on my nose and my cupid's bow as well and then i'll be done with my highlighting routine yeah definitely i love this one on my nose i love the white highlight okay so this is my completed contouring and highlighting routine i don't know whether it comes up on camera but in person i look really glowy i really quite like how this contouring and highlighting turned out well especially the highlighting i think contouring looks a bit patchy I'm not the biggest fan of this bronze, I'm not going to lie. I will test it out further and let you know in a future video of how I get on with it. But so far, it seems difficult to blend. It seems quite patchy and not the right undertone, I don't think, for contouring especially. So, but this highlighter is a dream to work on my skin tone. It's beautiful, everything I would ever need in a highlighter. This one gives me that. I don't like the matte one, I don't think it shows up on my skin at all, but perhaps for deeper skin tones if you like matte highlighters, but I still think it's not all that great. The blushes are okay, they're quite unusual. I don't know about the pink one because I haven't used it yet, but in general, would I recommend this contour kit? I don't know, I think it depends whether you're a fan of these blushes or not. The bronzers, I said it's not my favorite, I feel like you can find a lot of other contour kits in the drugstore that are cheaper or even if they're not cheaper they are much better because they have a much nicer contouring shade however if you're a big highlighter fan and you don't mind buying this product purely for a great highlighter then this highlighter honestly is a dream to work with i love it so much bye you guys that is the end for my contouring and highlighting routine i hope you enjoyed it if you didn't, please like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!